Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek. Had a few of you ask me to go into a bit more detail on voice attack, which I'm more than happy to do because, in my opinion, voice attack is easily, you know, one of the best third party applications for maintaining VR immersion. And obviously, the most important is what's, you know, in front of your face, and that's having. 1080p in both eyes, right? And eventually 4K uh, will be the future. But for now, there are things, and they're mostly on the control side of the equation, that cause us to have to take our HMDs off. Whether you're, you know, doing the typical, what I did for the first, uh, you know, week before I found out about voice attack, I kind of tilt, because I didn't want to remove the, the HMD. I kind of tilt to kind of spy the keyboard and then, you know, kind of tap totally destroys the immersion, you know, and I was getting frustrated with that. To me, it's like, okay, I might as well just yank this off my head because the amount of time I was doing this was getting ridiculous, right? Thankfully, I heard a voice attack. I believe it was in the Elite Dangerous forums. My concern at that time was this, was just basically figuring out, you know, what the community thinks is the best HOTAS controller for the Elite Dangerous Experience, or Digital Combat Simulator, Star Citizen, any number of you know cockpit-based flying games. And I saw Voice Attack, and immediately I was like, okay, uh, it's, it's free, the trial version isn't that limiting, use it, and try it, and see if I like it. And even to this day, I've only got about 15 to 20 things bound, which we'll get into. Well, the free version allows you to have 20 you know, different commands, um, which is more than sufficient to give it a good test run. Why would you use voice attack? Well, you'd use voice attack for avoiding situations like I talked about where you got to take the HMD off your head, the head mounted display, or you're spying for strokes on your keyboard. There's only so much you can map to these things, right? Uh, you can use switch um, switched functions, or sorry, shifted functions. I was thinking of something arcade related there. But shifted functions allow you simply to do this. So right now in game, pushing on the trigger is fire main weapons. A shifted function means, okay, whenever I push the pinky trigger with another button or key, have it do something completely different, right? So for example, this is fire weapon on its own, but shifted with the pinky trigger may deploy my cargo scoop, etc., etc. Well, realistically, a game like Elite Dangerous or a simulator like Digital Combat Simulator, it's reasonable to only expect somebody to remember so many mappings. Could you map everything you need in Elite Dangerous or Digital Combat Simulator to your sticks alone? Probably, but I wouldn't want to have to be the guy who has to remember all that, right? That's a lot of freaking commands to remember. So with voice attack, it takes that burden off of you, right? It allows you to talk using voice recognition software. And side note on voice recognition software. So as an older gamer, I remember when voice recognition software was the shittiest thing on the planet. It was super crappy. Uh, I'm talking Stephen Hawking's style. And for that guy, it's nostalgia. That's why he keeps it. But in the 80s, that's actually what it sounded like. It was really, really bad. And you could say something like tart, and it would misinterpret that and think it was something else. It's only about, you know, a few weeks ago that I became aware of voice attack, like I said, in those forums. Had I known voice recognition had gotten this much better, I would have used it a long time ago but it's a natural to use and pair it with virtual reality. Where I use it is timing, non-timing sensitive functions. For example, lowering the cargo scoop like I talked about, deploying the landing gear, uh, any of those types of things. You probably wouldn't want to use it for thrusters or firing, right? But you may use it for opening the galaxy map, opening the system chart, those types of things. 
using voice attack in that way will almost completely eliminate the need for you to have to take your head mounted display off. Again, whether that be Rift, uh, Rift or Vive, right? So that's how I've used the program. So where do you get this program? Well, you simply get it from voiceattack.com. And here you go, I'm on the purchase page. I have zero affiliation with these guys. Uh, you know, other than checking out their forums, I haven't even posted on their forums because the software is very intuitive, easy to use. But it's only 10 bucks. So if you like this program, it's something you can consider. But like I said, it's, you know, they are the reason why you can use what I think is a generous 20 commands per profile. I would be willing to bet most of you could use this program in free form and never have to buy it. I urge you to do so just to support the devs because, you know, they can go on to use those funds to do cooler things. But you're under no obligation, right? And uh, 20 is a lot. So based on, you know, what you just heard me talk about, right? The really cool thing is it allows you to use voice packs with it, right? And I'll get into those voice packs. I just want to show you the application first, how it actually works. So I'm going to launch voice attack. Here it is. And let's minimize the web pages so you can see. Profiles are selected by using this pull down menu. And you can have a number of profiles. I, I know it's 20 commands for the free version. I don't recall offhand how many profiles, but hell, even if it's just one profile, that still gives you a lot of flexibility. So I've got the default Astra, which is a, a female uh, standard pronounced English voice. I've also got Tom Baker, my favorite uh, fourth classical doctor from Doctor Who. So let's take a really quick look at Astra. We're gonna go into edit profile. Now you can see I've got a bunch of commands here, right? And she's programmed to recognize thousands, but let's just, for the sake of this video, let's type in landing gear, because that's the, you know, the command that I gave you guys. You don't have to go into every single version of, or synonymous, you know, retract landing gear. Landing gear, up. And, and she just said it, because she thought I was actually using it. You don't have to program this or what I'm about to show you for every single pronounced instance, right? You do it for one, the program's smart enough to throw that, you know, propagate that across the board. Here's an example. Landing, let's do retract landing gear. Uh, or landing gear, uh, deploy landing gear, here we go. So we're gonna edit that and you can see here how the program works. It basically, when I say one of these phrases, and you can see all those like actions, right? Deploy landing gear, lower landing gear, deploy docking module. They all accomplish the same thing. They're just different ways of saying it. Voice attack through using semicolons is smart enough to say, okay, whenever any of these things get said, do this. And it's the do this that makes this software so powerful. So if you look below here, it says execute command, landing gear, wait until it completes, play some random sounds. The program, you know, will talk back to you and say affirmative, sir, or captain, or whatever it happens to say. And then here's the important action. Press insert key and hold it for 0.03 seconds and release. For me, the insert key is lower landing gear. So simply by going in here, assigning a keystroke, you free that up from in-game. And now whenever I say deploy landing gear, she talks back to me, right? So you can see if I go edit for the keystrokes, how much is available. And those shifted functions that I talked about, right? Where you hold the pinky and push the trigger to do something other than fire weapon that might lower the landing gear as well, right? Those shifted functions are all usable things in voice attack. And this basically mimics that shifted functionality. So you can click on here and put any key directly, or you can say 
for this key when control is held down, alt is hold down, shift is held down, etc. You know, then do this action. That's basically the program in a nutshell and what makes it so powerful. So you don't have to limit this to Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, Digital Combat Simulator. You could use this for anything. Hell, you could use it for something like Diablo 3, where maybe it opens you know, your inventory screen, so you don't have to worry about that. But where it really freaking helps you is there, behind me, in Room VR, when you don't want to keep having to come back to the computer to do stuff. You can do that all standing up in room VR. That's what makes it so powerful. So that's voice attack. The last thing I want to show you is the voice packs that are available for it. So bringing up the website again, Chrome, Chrome I think I'm using here, yep. Elite Dangerous Voice Pack is one website that offers quite a few. Astra, the one I was talking about, here's Legend. And Legend is, if I can see the name here, I can't see. <laughs> But anyways, there's a series of characters, right? Red Dwarf actor, oh, here we go. Leo is voiced by Red Dwarf actor Norman Lovett. There's William Shatner ones. There's Brent Spiner, who was Data on Star Trek The Next Generation. And then there's another website, which the DNS was offline for. Yep, so for some reason, it's offline. Hopefully not permanently, because I purchased most of my voice packs from this website. And there's also a great forum section for voice attack to get questions answered. So there you have it, guys. Let me know if that did it justice. Does that tell you, you know, some of the things that you were asking me about? I hope it does. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to clarify to you either directly or another video if it merits it, right? So there we have it, guys. That's voice attack. That will take your VR experience to the next level simply by retaining your immersion. As always, guys, cheers.